What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player breakdown and we're going to be talking about the J League awards right so these are the Japanese League Showtime cards you've got two cards here that have got phenomenal finishing and momentum dribbling and you've also got another two cards that are fairly beastly all of these cards right these four cards are in a pack of 100 and they all have a very unique plus three booster this plus three booster is called total package plus three and it gives a plus three stat increase to every single stat. So you're talking tackling, to shooting, to low pass, to jumping, to dribbling, to speed, to acceleration, to ball control, to curl. It doesn't matter. Every single stat gets the boost. Now, in order to activate this boost, which is causing a bit of confusion for people, you need to have a full squad or a squad with 20 players minimum from that chosen league. So, for example, with Osako here, he's a J1 league player and also Anderson Lopez is a J1 league player. These guys need to be in a squad such as this to get their plus three booster, right? You can fit in one or two players, but there needs to be 20 players within this whole squad that is a J1 league squad. So for example, if we were to bring this into the Premier League and you wanted a booster Haaland, if they brought out a booster plus three Haaland, every single player in your squad or 20 players minimum would need to be playing in the Premier League. So it's similar to kind of, I suppose, FIFA squad builders, and it's also similar to what they do in the actual events in eFootball itself, when you need to have a minimum 23 players or 20 players in your squad in order to compete in the events, right? So we can still get Messi in here, we can still get Hernandez in here, and we are going to get the max booster of Osako, of Osako, okay? Now also with these cards, as well as the plus three booster, what makes these kind of a little bit more desirable for people that want to play with different cards and not just the rinse and repeat Mbappe and Romario up front or whoever, they also get the plus two manager boost, right? So for example, Anderson Lopez's booster here from level one, he's going to actually have an in-game, an in right, without even training him up, he's going to have an in-game stat of 82 speed because he's going to be getting the plus three booster when he's in the J1 League squad builder. And he's also be going, going to be getting the plus two to the manager boost. So if you've got a manager that's Simeone, Valbuena, any of those, right? So we are just going to take a quick look at the cards. And we are going to take a look at Anderson Lopez without the booster. And every single stat that you're going to see here is going to be added on by five. So for example, we have maxed him out with nine shooting, 10 dribbling, 13 dexterity, three lower body, and two aerial strength. That's going to give us an in-game an in and an end-game product and an in-game card of Anderson Lopez. His stats that you're seeing here, so 90 offensive awareness, this is pre-booster and pre-manager booster. So you can add plus five to every single stat here. So his attack and awareness becomes 95, his ball control becomes 89, his tight possession becomes 83, his low pass becomes 80, his finishing becomes 90, and also his acceleration becomes 90 as well. So it's a very decent card, especially when you look at the rest of his stats here and his skills with that total package plus three. It's a very, very unique card. One touch pass, first time shot, acrobatic finishing. He also has fighting spirit. Now, I know a lot of people have been messaging me and looking for me to talk about these cards. Personally, I know that these guys are tearing it up. This guy is like Cristiano Ronaldo. That's what a lot of people have said he plays like. He's also, of course, got... Um, true pass and a no look pass so he's a very unique card that can play ss or cf i would definitely build him for this with this kind of stats obviously his balance is going to take a bit of a hit but uh there is no real weakness in this card man it's a really good card the biggest problem with these cards is whether you want to fully commit to a j league squad because that's what you have to do i mean if you want to commit to a squad like this you do have to kind of have players like messi and hernandez or whoever you could literally fit in right your whole bench could be uh, J League players, and then you could fit in, you know, uh, eight starting players. You could get in Lopez, you could get in Osako, and then you could put in obviously any previous J1 League players that they had before that they released. So Nakamura was one that they released a couple of weeks ago. He could slot in here as a CMF, so you could have, you know, all the plus three booster to him. And then, of course, you could have Messi and you could have two other legends in your squad. So there is a little bit of wiggle room there. I reckon if they had, like, if they made the squads that you had to have 18 players instead of 20, that would make a big difference because you're starting 11. You could then have five players from any league. It wouldn't matter. And then six players could be made up of, you know, the rest of the J League ones. So eventually as more players are released, but that is the big problem with this card in my, or with these cards in, in my opinion, right? Because you do have to fully commit to a J League squad. Taking a look at Osako then, a lot of people are saying that this guy is literally scoring for fun. 
And it's no reason, there's no reason to believe he wouldn't, man, because of his insane card, right? This is a ridiculously good card. He's unwavering form. He's got the plus three booster, which becomes a plus five with the manager boost. And of course, look at his player skills here. One touch pass, first time shot. He's also got phenomenal finishing, which Cristiano Ronaldo, the new Showtime Ronaldo has, which is brilliant. Aerial superiority is excellent as well. He's got heading. He's got true passing. He's got track back and fighting spirit. This guy's going to be a pest, man. I've actually played against this guy uh, in the events, and he's very, very difficult to stop, even though he doesn't have amazing stats. People need to forget what they know about stats, man, because the stats are very balanced now in a way that they haven't been before B3.2. I will be doing a video on that. I'm also going to be doing a stream on it in a little bit um, today on Friday the 29th to talk about that and talk about the stats and retraining people. All I'd say is there's a reason they've brought back the free trainer reset, right? But when we look at his card here, Osako's, okay, as I said, it's a very, very strong card, a very strong card if you're able to commit to doing a full J-League squad. Every single stat that you see here is going to be plus five. So offensive awareness becomes 94, ball control becomes 85, tight possession becomes 87. You're not hitting the ridiculous levels of some of the cards, such as Salah, uh, Blitz Curler, Sun, uh, the new Showtime Ronaldo also has some really good stats. Um, but this card is a demon, man, because you've got 90 finishing, 90 acceleration. The balance and the tight possession are a little bit of an issue. But for a card like this, if you are fully committing to a J-League squad, you're kind of going to be playing an alternative style of football anyway. So it's not going to be just about meta for you. Um, and I know a lot of people are getting massive success with these cards because they're also getting hidden buffs. You know, buffs that the player ID controls and, and something like that, right? For example, Pedri is able to win the ball back even though he doesn't have good tackling and aggression uh, in his defense stats. These players have kind of got a hidden buff as well. Certain players play way above their stats. Marquinhos is an example. Pedri is an example. Any of those guys can be absolutely de demonic on the pitch, right? But it's a very solid card. The one thing I would say, lads, is do you want to commit to having a squad like this instead of your main squad. Do you know what I mean? That's the big talking point that you need to have with these players. Similarly with these two boys here, with Eric Lima and uh, Delgado, these are very, very strong cards as well, right? But you do need to have a, a J2 League squad. So that's going to be even more difficult for you, I would say, if you wanted to have cards like that, right? Because you do have the plus three booster on these, but they need to be a squad of not J1 League, it needs to be J2 League. Again, a very, very, very strong card. Um, they are going to be adding the fact that you can have these cards from J1 League and J2 League. I know that they made an, a post about that a couple of days ago. But this guy's got momentum dribbling. I would be playing him as kind of like your running gun player. Excellent dribbling type possession. And as I said, with the booster, his type possession is going to go be at 80 at level 1, which is ridiculous. So if you are looking to get a player like this, it is always interesting to do a bit of research on him. But yeah, the decision becomes whether you want to actually play these guys um, and commit to the full squad rebuild or commit to a full squad. I would say if you're not having fun with the game right now, now is an actual good time to do it because there is definitely you know, room for actually developing different types of players. I mean, you can have 95 acceleration with this guy, you can have 85 speed, and the dribbling then can be outrageous as well. If you wanted to go to 85 type possession, you can get that balance up a little bit more, you can max out everything. This is a ridiculously strong card. You are going to have there, essentially, right, essentially, you are going to have 90 attack and awareness, 95 dribbling, 90 type possession, 90 finishing, 99 acceleration, 85 speed, 91 balance, and 85 uh, stamina. It's a ridiculous card if you do commit to that J2 League squad. Same with Delgado. He's a bit taller. He's more kind of an aerial threat, but you are going to be getting that plus five to everything. So if you wanted to go for that collar experience, you can have his physical contact at 95, which is going to become, well, 94. It's going to become a 99 overall. His jump is going to be really good. His speed at 75 with the plus five is going to be good. His attack and awareness is going to be really, really high. And his finishing is going to be really, really high. So listen, these cards are a bit of fun, but it just depends on how you want to actually play them yourself. So um, I would say for me at the moment, I would say that they are a bit of a pass, these cards, strictly because I don't really want to leave a lot of my you know main squad on the bench. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're having a bit of fun with these. And uh, yeah, we will talk to you in a bit. Peace.